Hey guys, it's me Poopy Green. I'm back and today I want to talk about a tier list for the Taskmaster update for Marvel Strike Force. Uh, so this tier list, I made some changes since the last time. Uh, not too many significant changes in terms of characters placement. So I'm not going to talk too much about characters I moved. I moved a couple up or down a tier based off of what people said to the last video. So again, if you have any comments about what you think of my ranking of characters, I'd love to hear them because I did take those into consideration. If you compare the tier list today uh, to the tier list from last month, you'll see quite a few characters moved up and down a tier just to more finely tune uh, the general perspective of the community. And then I'll talk about all the new characters that made it onto the tier list this month and why I put them where I put them um, so let's first uh, recover uh, sort of how I make this tier list uh, so really important for you guys to know uh, when I'm making this tier list it's just the overall value of a character uh, accounting for the fact of if they need a team if they don't need a team uh, you know what modes are they good in is it specific modes uh, those kind of things it's just looking at a character as an individual how valuable are they um, so that's why you see characters like hydra or shield down in d tier uh, those minions are incredible when you put them with nick fury or red skull uh, but the reason why they're down there is i don't think it's the minions that make the team it's the leader who then buffs the minions uh, so on an individual basis i don't think any of those minions are valuable uh, but yet when you put them with the right team they do become valuable uh, so that's just an important thing to keep in mind with the tier list i know it's not perfect i know some people say why would you want to let people know uh, you know how these characters are if they're um, you know you wouldn't want people to think shield minions are valueless when they do have value when you put them with specific characters um, but it's just you know people already do that casino has a very thorough tier list uh, showing characters that can go up and down in ranks uh, you know depending on what teams they're with and stuff like that so I want to just have a super simple tier list I want somebody to look at this tier list and just see who are the best characters in the game you know uh, if they're looking at the roster who do they want to build up first um, you know, that's sort of my goal with the tier list it's a very simple very streamlined not perfect not the most detailed thing in the world uh, but it's still something that is you know helpful to a new player and it's very simple uh, and it's not overwhelming so that's sort of what I'm going for with this tier list so I just want to always add that disclaimer at the beginning of the video uh, but anyways let's go through all the new characters so Ebony Maw he's brand new to the list he's an S tier uh, Ebony Maw I just think is an incredible character uh, very good damage uh, and really utility is what he's super good at um, he, he's a Phoenix counter Phoenix is a very important character in the meta she's been very important in the meta for a long time now uh, Ebony Maw just shuts her down completely uh, he's just going to be a really Really great character nobody has him yet uh, but we know what his kit's like and he's gonna be pretty crazy especially when you put him with characters like thanos and the full black order team uh ebony Ma is somebody to look out for uh next up on the list taskmaster he came out this month he's working as a lead for a mercenary team i think he's a really good character mercenaries became a threat um you know he really uh took those mercenaries and sort of pulled them out of the dirt and uh, now they're actually pretty valuable characters especially on more defense and they are nothing to scoff at anymore uh, so i put him like an a tier i think he's sort of like uh, similar to ronin where he takes some characters that are kind of meh on their own and uh, suddenly they become pretty good when you put them with them uh, so taskmaster very good character that came out this month uh, so very highly rated call obsidian i don't think he was on the tier list last month uh, very similar to proxima and Corvus Glaive, characters that I think are pretty good on their own, uh, but really you're building them with the intention of building the full Black Order team. Uh, but still on his own, I think Call Obsidian is a very good character, so I put him in the B tier with the rest of them. I believe I maybe moved Mark Lieutenant up to B tier. I'm not sure if he was in C or B tier last month, uh, but regardless, he's a very good character beforehand. He's even better now uh, because of the fact he has that team with Taskmaster that's really strong. Uh, Mercenary Right Guard, I do not think I moved up, uh, but he's become better i just don't think he's really become better enough to move into the b tier uh, but he's good because he has that team now taskmaster and all them mercenary sniper and bullseye i did move up from lower tiers uh, simply because of the fact of now they have that pretty good team uh, with taskmaster and i feel those characters are still pretty confident on their own sniper and bullseye i think have pretty good damage and now uh, that they have a team to sort of play with um, i think they become that much more valuable so i felt the need to move them up to the c tier uh, simply because now they have that mercenary team to play with and then finally 
uh, for this month, Ironheart. Uh, she is a new character that is coming out really soon. She's finally coming out after months of holding her uh, back. Uh, and I just think she's a very mediocre character at the end of the day. Um, I just I, I don't think she really excels at anything. I think she has some interesting stuff in her kit. I think she'll synergize well with the power armor team. And I think it's very helpful to have her on the power armor team because it frees up vision for other teams. But as an individual, I do not feel Ironheart is that, um, you know, incredible of a character. I just feel she's a very mediocre character on her own. Uh, so that's why I'm putting her in the C tier. Uh, but that's about it for new additions to this tier list. Again, I did move some characters up and down. I believe I moved Hela and Scientist Supreme up. Um, you know, I think those are just incredible characters. I, I had them at A tier, uh, but, you know, I think people brought made a good point that they're that much better, uh, that they're still very valuable. Um, and, you know, looking at this tier list, if you look down at the bottom, characters that really need help, I think the big things you're seeing is A, um, leftover minions. Uh, for example, uh, Hydra Grenadier and Aim Infector really just left behind. No real teams for them. I think they're kind of useless. Uh, so something to do with them. And then the second thing we see down there uh, is we're seeing Hand and Ravagers. Uh, they do not have a rework. I think that is the last team that needs rework those two teams um, so that is something i think we will see next in this game at some point i think those are the next sort of teams coming up for a rework um, you know we finally have mercenaries they're now viable uh, so it's just now we only have hand and ravagers left uh, we just need to get some reworks for those characters so they can get out of the bottom tier and if box next did this uh, i think my tier list would be shaken up quite a good bit uh, because once you take those characters out of the bottom tier uh, that sort of reassesses what a bottom tier and a top tier character is uh, because we've had these characters that are garbage for so long uh, but once characters like uh, the ravagers and the hand are no longer garbage uh, our new classification of what a garbage character is is going to change uh, you know assuming nebula uh, maybe gets buffed sometime within there. Um, so just something really exciting I'd like to see. We've just had these characters at the bottom of the tier list uh, pretty much since this game came out. Um, so hopefully their day will be coming soon enough where Hand and Ravagers get reworked. Um, just would just be a really nice thing to see come to this game. But with that being said, you know, what do I really know? Because I am only an 18 year old. Uh, you know, I think I have a relatively good grasp of what Marvel Strike Force is and how it works. Uh, but I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say down below. I'm excited for next month's tier list because X-Force will be coming. So Deadpool and Cable are probably going to be coming much better characters next month. Along with the fact we're going to have X-23, Domino, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead making it onto this tier list. Uh, so very exciting update coming out next month. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I put out this tier list before we start getting hyped for the next update. Uh, just so we can have a sort of snapshot of what the meta is looking like right now. So make sure to let me know uh, what you think about this tier list. Who would you move up and down? And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.